What is up guys, it's your boy here and today we're I'm gonna be talking about this one vinyl turntable table that pretty much every vinyl collector despises and something that you probably will despise too. And yes, this um turntable manufacturer is sponsoring NASCAR. So yeah. Just to let y'all know about that. So yeah, this video is going to be about the one and only Crosley turntable. Yep, the Crosley, the raggedy, cheap-built Crosley turntable. So let me explain you why everybody doesn't like this Crosley turntable. Well, first of all, let me mention why. It's cheaply built, and it's just, no, your vinyl records like these will actually break. Because I'm using Metallica Megadeth's second album. This one's the remastered. That one also is a remaster, but was remastered recently in 2016. So, yeah. Apparently, like, like Crosley's are, like, the most cheapest, um, you know, vinyl record player you could ever, ever get. So, yeah. If you're new to vinyls, never get the Crosley one. Never, ever get that one, because it's cheaply built. Not to mention, they scratch up your vinyls easily. Say if, um, right, let me use P-cells, for example. So, we use this vinyl part, right? So, let's say this right here was a Crosley turntable. And let's just say this vinyl right here. Like, it would be cheaply built. If you close it down, it's going to scratch your records. And if your records get scratched, you are SOL. So, yeah. They also, like, I don't know how much it is. I assume they're like five something dollars, something cheap. That basically, if you don't have much money and if you're you are trying to get a record player and you got no choice but to get a Crosley. Save your money. Stop wasting over 20 to 30 something dollars on vinyl records when it, if you have some vinyl records, you can easily save up for a turntable. Get like the good ones. Like, I don't know what other manufacturers make record players, but all I know is Raggedy Crosley, sadly. So, yeah. Like, literally, if you close it, like, it will bend your record. And not to mention that record, like, that, um, like, you know, the needles. I forgot to mention the needles on the vinyl. It is not meant for the 12-inch vinyls. It's not meant for that. Because it, like, it will literally damage, well, not damage your records, but it'll scratch your records, making it sound so crappy that you'll want to regret it. So this is why everybody hates the Crosley record and like well record um players. I don't know why I'm thinking just records in general, but yeah. Yeah, please, like they're cheaply built. It doesn't work. Not to mention that um that time thing. Or well, not time thing, the balance thing. The balance doesn't work. It's just like like literally it literally looks like a, it looks like a freaking, what's it called? It's a treasure box. It looks like a treasure box. You, like, literally, a treasure box. You don't ever play vinyls on treasure boxes. Because, you know, again, they're cheaply built. I recommend you get the expensive ones. I'm talking this, like, over a hundred something dollar ones, because trust me, back in the day, vinyls were like vinyls were cheap, but they were still in good condition. These were like five ish dollars for this vinyl record, and and now they are expensive, between twenty to thirty dollars. But I plan on like like you know, kind of getting a vinyl record. Yes, these are vinyl records, but getting like a bigger vinyl record. These are vinyl records, so yeah. 
They're V-I-N-Y-L records, okay? So, yeah, never get these. Not these, but never get the Crosley one, because Crosley, cheaply built. Crosley, they only make weapons and the raggedy record players, because, yeah. Not to mention, they come out in different colors, and this one person named Vinyl Eyes, check them out at Vinyl Eyes with two Zs at the end, E-Y-E-Z-Z. Check him out. Go subscribe to him. Um, he will explain why they're cheaply built. But yeah, I recommend you get in the greatest one. I'm talking five out of five turntables. Because five out of five is the best quality on earth. It will not damage your... Like, it will... The best one properly. And yeah... The best one properly, it will, you know, it, it'll it take good care of your records when you play it. But I recommend, like, you you know how I mentioned that? I don't recommend getting, like, how the needle, you don't control it. Because only get the one that controls it for you. So that way you don't, like, because me, I personally feel like I'm going to end up scratching the records or putting it on the wrong side of the record. And if you're pro at it, that's fine with me. So, yeah. Honestly, like, soon I would do a rant on these, um, turntable records, but, you know, I don't, but I only rant whenever it's necessary. So, yeah, thank you all for watching this Why DGR, well, why am I thinking about the NASCAR team? Why the Crosley turntables suck. So, yeah, never get these. They're pretty much, uh, like, you can pretty much get them at dollar stores. And bye!